were you there when she loved you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A beautiful person with flowers in your hair. Were you there? Did you want to ban the Big Bang Vietnam, the arms race? Hey, by the way, who won the space race? Did you hear what they said on the left and the right? Yes, no, right, wrong, black or white. Were you there? Were you there for the music, there for the fun? Did you see what it takes to be number one? Will gold go up? Will walls come down? Do you want to be there as the world goes round? For those who are there and those who'd like to be there, we're here. And here is 702 Land, or as it once was known, the PWV. When it moves, it's lightning fast, making the news and hungry for it. Kelly, 702 Eyewitness News, Sydney. Rowley, 702 Eyewitness News, Jerusalem. Bob Brill, Los Angeles. Ben Solomon, 702 Eyewitness News, Nairobi. Ben Solomon, 702 Eyewitness News, the way home. And right at the hub of it all, at work. And at play. <laughs> <laughs> There's a radio station that gives 702 Land its infotainment. Eyewitness news on the half hour, followed by sports and then traffic. A unique combination of information. Five past five in a moment, an exclusive interview with former British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher, then an update on the Indian election. And entertainment. You heard the one about the Australian mud wrestler who had to wear dark glasses. Was that supposed to be? A joke? It's radio that opens your eyes. Adult radio that's seen and heard. A station that takes time to listen. Good point, Simon, but surely that would apply on a regional basis only? And radio that cares for its community. Good evening, citizens of 702 Land. This is Harry Seftel, medically speaking. Good evening and welcome to Financially Speaking on 702. My guests tonight are resident financial expert Magnus Haystack. Hello Shadow, and tonight we're talking about inflation again. I'm Dr. D, and tonight we're going to be talking about a subject that I'm sure will be of interest to everyone. It's full service radio. Three degrees in the CBD. If you've got any sense, you'll dress warm, like me. With weather and traffic updates. Johannesburg traffic this Monday is very, very busy. It looks like we're in for a very long peak. Uh, the M1 North already down at Uncle Samarian, you say your husband is having an affair. And Talk with no punches pulled. No. That's his second hat trick of the season. What a star. And All the latest in sport. And music that's the soundtrack of your life. Classic hits of the 60s, 70s, 80s, and today. To the bright side of the road. And now some commercial news on 702. 702's programming has an excellent balance of components. It succeeds in delivering the targeted audience. Upper income adults aged 25 to 49. This is a market with money, whether you call them yuppies or baby boomers or simply the most desirable segment in the Vidvatis front. They've got the earning power and the spending power to make 702 a must for many media schedules. I'm Rick Emden, doing it from the 702 Boomer, the biggest portable radio in the world. For the citizens of 702 land, 702 is more than a radio station. It's a sound and a style, a part of their lives. And when it comes to entertainment, the sky is the limit, with contests that are legendary. Bentley, you've won a trip to Brazil! Oh, and ready to help idea. when the chips are down. Last year, when a severe shortage of funds threatened the Johannesburg Child Welfare Society, meaning we would have to close down several of our children's homes, Radio 702 came to the rescue. In just 16 hours, over a million rand was raised through a radio fund. 702 is a station with heart and soul. Always facing the east. A feeling. <laughs> How do you like that? A family. Okay, Tina, you're on the air and your opinion counts.
702 brings it all together with events that draw thousands of people, creating advertising opportunities for the marketing winners of today. A quality that's increasingly being sought in advertising these days is likability. The creative people want to build likability into their ads. The target market will respond better. Seems to me that as media people, if we can assess media in terms of likability, radio is going to rate very highly. Don't need to develop the argument. It's logical. And 702, as a local station identifying closely with its target market, with its personality and style, I think rates also very highly on likability. At Sekeniko, we're using 702 a lot because we believe that the listeners of 702 are opinion makers and these are the people that are important to us in the movie business. 702 gives its listeners information that's in touch, in tune and independent from here and around the world. And from Los Angeles comes the news that the Disney Studios have announced the resurgence of the Hollywood musical. And when the news is commercial, the reaction is quick and sure. We had a campaign on 702 in conjunction with Southern Suns offering winter packages to Durban and Cape Town. The results were tremendous. Our best ever winter demand for flights to those cities. Advertising is a fast moving business and radio especially is a fast moving medium. 702 scores with me because of its speed and flexibility, not only in spot campaigns but in promotions and sponsorships. How's that Stan, okay? Thanks a lot Greg, your check's in the mail. And here's an anthem we wrote for every advertiser on the station, for every listener to 702. We'll see you on the radio.